Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I wanted to pop in and tell you some of my favorite things about Creativation, actually three of the best things about going to Creativation. This right here is a schedule highlight of what happens at Creativation. The first two days, Thursday and Friday, they have education classes, and then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, the show floor is open, and there are so many wonderful, awesome things happening. There is absolutely no way that you can do all of it. So I just wanted to share some of my favorites and what I did this year. The first thing I did was on Thursday, I took a class and this class that I took was amazing. All the classes I've had at Creativation have been really good, but this first one was an interactive cards with Lawn Fawn class. It's one of my favorites. I've taken it just about every year that I can. And here's some of the things we got to make this year. This is the new tulip dial. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but here's a swan with a hello on the inside. They have some new die cut letters that fit on the front of those uh, sayings. And then this one, oh, it just changes. I couldn't have wished for a better friend. It's so cute. <laughs> So we put this together in class as well. Kelly Marie Alvarez was there, and this is probably my absolute favorite one. It's their new iris die. It's like an aperture, and you can open and close it and have something hidden on the inside. It is so cool. Jen Shirkus was also there teaching the class, and it was really fantastic. They usually do give you some goodies in class as well, besides the cards that you make. So this is the one I got, a bug deal, it's called. So cute with all the critters. There's some grasshoppers and ladybugs. Oh my goodness, I, I just love it. The next day I was signed up for, actually this was an extra class I got to take because Alexandra from the Hedgehog Hollow got me into this paper artsy class. I have never taken a class from paper artsy before. They were talking about their new chalk paints and how you can stamp on them. Look at the stamping in the background there, how you can color and draw on them. This is the paint that we were using. It's a new chalk acrylic, or maybe it's not new, just new to me. And here's a few more of the samples that they had at class. So much inspiration and wow. The next class that I was able to take was on Friday, and this was an Altenew class. The first time I've ever been able to get into the Altenew class, they are always booked and packed, and I was so excited <laughs> for this one. Here are some of the things we got in the Altenew class. It was a higher price point, but look at all of these things. All these inks, there they had this brochure of the, the cards that we made, Here's a sample. They were so organized at this class. The stamp sets that we got were this one, the Retro Plantains. Look at those beautiful leaves. I was in love with this set. Then Simple Beauty, which is a layering stamp set. And we also got this watercolor halftone set where we learned how to watercolor with ink uh, on our fingers, actually. And then this mod vases where you can stamp on top with some extra little things and it's beautiful. Here's some of the cards that we made with all of the stamp sets. So pretty. Look at those layered flowers. So these were the inks that we used in class and we got to keep them all. Such a fun and exciting time with Altenew. I loved it. I also took this alcohol ink paint and sip class thanks to Alexandra as well and this is what we painted I think that mine doesn't quite look like the sample I mean I tried <laughs> it is kind of fun to paint with alcohol inks though uh, it's very forgiving you can always blot it up and start over if you hate it they this uh, developing a branding plan was one of the business classes I took and they have a lot more business classes as well the second best thing about Creativation is the show floor when it opens. I love everything about the show floor. The new products you get to learn about. This is the Stamping Village with all of the different stores that are in the Stamping Village. There's Hero Arts, Pink and Main, Dare to Be Artsy. We've got My Sweet Petunia on the other side there, Pink Fresh Studio, Avery L, LDRS Creative, Picket Fence Studios, 
Concord and 9th. In the middle is where they do all the make and takes. And then there's Altenew, Lanfon, Studio Katya, all of these companies together in one place. So it makes it so fun. There's some other companies all around. And when you walk in, you just see all of these amazing things. Look at this cosplay. These costumes were amazing, made with some of the deco art and lots of just things to look at, amazing ideas and products. Studio Katya had some of my favorite things. Look at this cute, oh, with the dyes and some new gems as well. This one has glitter inside. Here's one of the cards made by Ilda and oh my gosh, you have got to see this new embellishment tool. Patty, they got a brush cleaner. Yeah, right now. Right, if you can go right now. Yeah. Definitely a favorite of mine and so much, so much inspiration. Um, these are some of the make and takes I did get to try out. Picket Fence Studios uh, blending brushes, the, the life-changing blending brushes. And here is their, some of their samples at their booth. I got to meet Nicole who taught us a little bit about the correct way to hold those blending brushes. So I'm going to let you listen to her so you put your thumb my dirty fingers your thumb and your pointer finger here wrap your other three fingers around and then it allows you to control it so I've heard people say they're only good for light ink blending uh, absolutely not true it's all about how much pressure you put on this head Sometimes I'll even hold it like this. I mean, whatever way makes it comfortable. But brushing your teeth, this is how you get blotches. Holding it like this is how you get blotches. If you're getting blotches, that's why. You're not actually holding it to wear. And then also another thing, when you blend, you don't have to start on the side, but if you're gonna, wherever you start, you blend out from there. Here's from the Spellbinders Make and Take. We made this little pin with some of their layering dyes. Look at that beautiful. Wow. I really did adore their layering dyes. I'm definitely going to have to pick some of those up. This was one of my favorite make and takes from Dress My Craft. So yes, you can bet I bought <laughs> that background dye. I couldn't help it. This is from Artisprey. It's their, they have some new colors of their markers and you color on paper and then sublimate it right onto your material of choice. They had a keychain here that they did for me with their heat press and it, it comes out so bright and vibrant and they have a new stamp pad as well. So you can stamp your inks with the with that marker to sublimate. And this last one was from the stamp market, one of my favorites. Here's a little look at the stamp market. All of the inspiration at their booth the beautiful colors. It's no wonder I'm completely in love with everything <laughs> that they have. All their dyes and of course their colors. I have a crush on Color Crush. All the papers, the inks, beautiful, beautiful products. I spent a little bit of time at this booth just looking and drooling <laughs> and doing some make and takes and talking with some crafty people. Very fun. Here's a few of them right now. Karen, Dana. Altenu has a new cutting mat coming out, which I, of course, loved. Here's some of their new products as well. I just wanted to give you a little sneak at a little bit of each of these booths, especially the ones at Stamping Village. There are so many booths at Creativation with so many uh, inspiring things that you get to make and try out yourself. It's really amazing. And truthfully, this show is mostly for retailers. I do know that you have to have a special pass to get in. So it's not open to the public generally, but look at all the LDRS creative it was beautiful. Look at how cute this die is where they jump up and down. <laughs> I loved it. Kathy gave me a little tour around the LDRS creative booth, and I also got to meet Linnea there. Avery L. had some beautiful, look at these astronauts and that little Martian. So, so cute. Uh, some new Jungle Pals as well. And so much inspiration at this booth. They had a setup every day with some 
party items like a cake and some cupcakes, how they use some of their products on parties for a party. And it was just so cute and inspirational. Pink Fresh Studio had, of course, some of my favorites. Look at these wonderful samples. There is beautiful color here as well and lots of talent in that booth. Look at these last ones with the leaf frame. And here is Lawn Fawn with that new iris dye. Of course, everything at Lawn Fawn is my favorite. They had so many samples and always this booth was packed full. They do have make and takes every day, different ones every day at the booth. So you can keep coming back to Lawn Fawn and make something different and new. I loved everything. <laughs> I can't help it. Lawn Fawn is just the best. And there's always so much to learn from people at Creativation. Here is some samples from Concord and Ninth. These are some of the new things coming up real soon. And of course they have some new colors of ink and paper and re-inkers and ink cubes coming up. So that was exciting. Here's our glitter paper as well. I didn't get to do a make and take at Concord and Ninth, but I loved this happy rainbow. And I also loved this mini purse die. So cute. Back to Hero Arts with some of my favorites with the lemons, uh, the citrus. It seems to be a theme right now and I just adore it. These new Monstera leaves also and the, the new stamp and cut dies beautiful the hero scapes also were really really cool layering stamp sets where you can create all the different colors of flowers lots of beautiful things to see here and i was so excited because libby gave me a tour around the booth to show me all the new latest and greatest pink and main had some of the most amazing things this new blender brush was wow knock your socks off it's an ergonomic brush so you can hold it in your hand and your hand won't supposedly get tired i got to try it out with the stencil and it turned out so beautiful if you haven't seen the dare to be artsy paper and dies that cut out both their stamps and their papers oh my goodness it's amazing and this circle background was probably my favorite out of the entire booth they had some cute gnomes as well and some other background dies that were beautiful made into shakers and birthday cards i love them and spellbinders had a lot of things i loved as well i got a glimpse of the foil machine once again the glimmer foil and i just need to try that machine some alcohol inks and some new stickles gel are new from ranger Lots of amazing things. And of course, Heidi Swap, you probably have heard about it by now, but she has a new pink mink machine and Wendy Vecchi with her new smaller make art station. I haven't tried that yet either. That's going to be fun. Simon Hurley has some new products and inks out this year. Beautiful colors. And I really like the names of them as well. Minty Fresh. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. This was a neat booth to stop by. Fran was showing us how to use her new I'm flooding watercolor a area brush. I'm above the sailboats. I'm keeping the sailboats dry. I stamped them with VersaFine ink earlier. I'm using the Daniel Smith paints. I'm now going to dip my um, brush into the French ultramarine blue, and I really want to load up my brush. So I'm going to check and see. I've got really nice blue and I need a little bit more water than that just to see how it's flowing. Okay, so now I got to find where I placed that water and look at this. It's finding the water that I placed. I want even more blue, so I'm quickly going to add even more up here at this edge. I'll let it move a little bit down to this side and every time I do it it comes out different but I'm working off of the same plan here so I still have a lot of paint on my brush I'm gonna take some of it off in the puddle more of it off over here in the swamp and now I'm blotting my brush so that with less paint and less water I'm just gonna reshape these clouds just a little bit maybe move it in and soften it 
And there you have an incredibly dramatic sky over the sailboat, just like that. So I call this my little... Make It by Marco had their amazing 3D printer machines there, all different colors, and boy, I could have watched this all afternoon, creating so many amazing things. If you haven't seen them or heard of them, take a look at their products. Pretty awesome. And the pins on the show floor are pretty amazing as well. I did collect quite a few. I took one extra with me. This is the Grey Muse Ruby's pin. Um, this one's Decofoil, Studio Katia, the Stamp Market, Got Joy Creations, Hedgehog Hollow, Lawn Fawn is the Swan, Crafty Not, Sh Not Shifty, Picket Fence Studios, there's the Stamping Village, and Dress My Craft, and there were a few more as well. Nuvo had a bunch of new products to showcase, and they have some color trends coming out this year that are absolutely gorgeous. Tropical Paradise is the first one that comes out in February. Look at all of these colors. They have some of all of these different categories coming out with inks and Nuvo embellishment paste, the Shimmer Mist, some Dream Drops and Vintage Drops, as well as a lot of the Glimmer and Glacier paste and some other things as well like sequins papers white wonderland has got to be one of my all-time favorites it comes out in june that's also my birthday month <laughs> i might be partial but i am in love with this iced aqua expanding mousse wow and the polar wind embellishment mousse is also beautiful but that peacock plume spray and the glacier paste iron frost I, these are some must-have items for me. Rustic Rose comes out in September. That's their trend for September, the third one. Look at all these beautiful pastel colors. And of course, they introduced some Crackle Mousse this year with some amazing uh, qualities. The more you put on, the more it crackles on your project. So kind of fun. And then, of course, some other things like Vintage Drops, their aqua shimmer pens they had in some really beautiful colors and a few other things that were quite fun to take a look at. This iridescent mirror card was probably a favorite of mine. Just take a look at how that changes color in the light when you move from different sides. Really, really nice. A brand new company debuted at Creativation called iCrafter. I got to meet Linda and see some of her new things coming out for the year. And what impressed me the most was this right here. It might not look like much, but this is a self-healing cutting pad that you can use in your die cut machine. So you never have to replace your cutting pads again. Self-healing, you guys, awesome. And it looks like it's available in July, so I'll be looking for that to come out. She had a lot of other really awesome products to share and some inks and dyes, as well as stamps and accessories. This kind of caught my eye, these little ink blenders that are brushes instead of finger daubers. Basil had some really inspiring displays with their paper. Look at these. I had to take pictures <laughs> of all the colors because this was one of my favorite displays this year. That, that paper, wow, pretty amazing. And speaking of wow, their embossing powders, they have some new coming out from Tracy Scott, inspired by Tracy Scott, inspired by Seth Apter and some others. Beautiful, beautiful products. And this was a really fun booth with ThermoWeb with some of their new products. I didn't get to take a picture of the, gl the new Glitz Glitter Gel, but I'm sure you've seen that already. Kelly Creates had some really fun demonstrations here. She's doing some lettering and she's got her book there as well. It was really fun to watch her do this. And Doodlebug, of course, is one of my favorite booths to see. They always have such a cute setup. I was craving cake for some reason at this booth this year. Very cute pins and papers and I love everything that they have. Echo Park has some really fun things coming out this year, and I got to stop by Photoplay as well, and they were in the corner. My third and final favorite best thing at Creativation is Crafty Friends. There are so many crafty people there. 
to meet and sometimes I'm in shell shock a little bit and forget to take pictures. I did miss a picture with a few crafty people that I really wanted to get a picture with, but look at all these, uh, some of my favorite people. I met some new ones, got to see some other friends that I've seen in past years, and it's always one of my favorite and best things of creativation. I hope you enjoyed this tour this year of all my favorite, the three favorite things from creativation, the classes, the show floor, the new products, pins, and make and takes, crafty friends, and a little glimpse at, and there's Jennifer, of course, a little glimpse at some of the new things coming out. I will have another video coming real soon showing some of my very favorite products from Creativation that I didn't show here, a few that I showed here, but I wanted to show you some of these products actually in my hands and using them and give you a little review as well. So look for that to come soon. I hope you recognize some of these crafty people. I did get to meet Laura Basson for the first time this year and I told her she was famous and she didn't believe me. But <laughs> anyway, here are some more pictures. By doing what you love, you inspire and awaken the hearts of others. That was at the Stamp Market booth. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it and all your thumbs up and likes and comments. I'll be back real soon with some more inspiration. Bye-bye.